what I'm doing today is I'm testing the level, the flow rates, and see, so you can see the different flow rates for two different ionizers at level three. They're both pouring at level three right now, or Kangen Water 9.5, and they're, this is a very fast flow rate, and now I'm going to slow down the flow rate of each of them considerably. And I, <laughs> I took some time before the video to regulate that flow rate for you so that they'd be the same, but now you, you can see the great difficulty I have. I have to now try to figure out how to get these, this flow rate. I slowed it down, but I don't want too fast or slow. I just want it just right. Okay. Well, that's good. All right, so that's a medium flow rate. And now I'm going to slow it down real slow. As slow as it can go before the machine tells me that I can't do it. off and we'll test them and see what the what the different, different flow rates will get us. All right. Well, first of all, let's get my test meters here. So this one's the Kangen. Uh, they're, they're, I'll, I guess you can call it the Enagic, you can call it the Kangen, and then, you know, you can call it Level Look SD501. So whatever you call it, this one. And then this is at the fast flow rate. And actually, this is really awesome. My goodness, at that fast flow rate, to still be able to get that uh, negative ORP that well is great. <laughs> so uh, let's let it settle down a little bit because uh, it looks like it's going up pretty fast. Oh no, it started going the other direction. Wow, okay. It looks like it's mid negative 330s and a 9.9 .9 pH or a 10 pH. All right, now I'm going to go over to the tying it now. Hmm, fairly equivalent. Actually, wow. Well. All right, so that's really good. Let's let that settle down because it's going up still. Hmm. Now this had a fast flow rate, so that's pretty good. <laughs> it looks like it, as fast as it's going, it might go up to negative 600, I'm not sure. Yeah, it looks like it's going to go to negative 600. Yep, and a 10.3 pH. Okay, cool. 
All right, the, now let's let's go back to the magic, just out of all fairness. Make sure that that really is lower than the uh, tie. And the reason I say that is that they claim they're higher, but that's not that does not prove out to be true in my testing. All right, well, okay. It, let's go up to the now. This this next one is is the the first one was medium. Or no, fast. This one's medium. This middle one. This is what I would probably pour my water at. And that looks like a better ORP. When you when you run it through the electrodes a little slower, it gives you just a better ORP. So if, if you want more antioxidants, run your water a little, a little slower. And, and honestly, running it a little slower is good for the filtration, too. Uh, certain things like pharmaceuticals and chloramine are often really tough to get out of the water, in particular chloramine. But, I mean, pharmaceuticals, too. You never know what's in those. And, um, and this, is, this is definitely better filtration when you go slower through the filters. And anybody who treats water will will tell you that slower flow will give you better quality water. All right, well, this is about as much time as I'm going to give it here. In the negative 470s and 11.0 pH. Okay, and now this is tie it over here. And it does seem like a real similar reading now to the Enagic, but it's going up a little faster, so it might go up to the negative 500s. I'll give it a little bit of a chance to do that. 10.6 pH. And, yep, it went into negative 500s. Might even go, at this speed, it might even go up to negative 600. Which would not surprise me. I've tested the tiant so many times, and it does get up into the negative 600s at the level 3, which is what we're at. Well, we'll just call it the, you know, mid-negative 570s. <laughs> or, uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe 580s. I don't know, it's still going. I hate to just stop. Um, it, it, let's just say it gets close to a negative 600, because I'm, I don't really want to take forever on these tests. But, I mean, you get the idea. It's close to 600 and 10.6 pH. And these things, these, you know, scores are kind of variable a little bit, you know, from test to test. So don't take one test as the almighty answer. All right, it is negative 600. Let's go back to the uh, Enagic and just double check and make sure that is really lower than the tie-in. And it is. It is sincerely lower than the tie-in. All right, so now we're back up to the, the last one, which is the slowest flow that the ionizers would let us have. And that looks like it's going to really definitely be higher for the magic. And it looks like the magic will get up into the negative 600s if you allow it to go through that slower flow. And, you know, I mean, one of the actual conveniences of the Enagic is the, the fast flow rate. I mean, you, you can literally get 8 liters per minute um, out of the Enagic. And, you know, like you can take a line of people uh, with their bottles of water and they can all have them filled up in a matter of, wow, this is really, really good. <laughs> In a matter of minutes, you can have them all out of there, which is great. Um, I mean, there is definitely an advantage to that. And I, I think that maybe when we're done with all this uh, comparison testing, I'll just take a look at the Enagic just by itself and um, put it on the very fastest. Um, it will go faster than the tie-in will go, plain and simple.